What is up, Humanoid Nation? I just finished watching Girl Meets World first episode. And here's my review on it. First of all, the show is 50-50 in that it's a TGIF show, and half the time it's a measly Disney show too. The TGIF side is basically the comedy because the writer, Michael Jacobs, or whoever did the writing in the first show of Boy Meets World, you can see it here in this kind of show too, like the standard comedy, because like half the time I couldn't stop laughing at the writing of jokes, but and yeah, basically it reminded me of the writing from like the first Boy Meets World show. But along comes this Disney part of the show, where they keep on slapping on this whole "you need the world, man" shit. Oh my god, that's the one thing that annoyed me. I get it. Girl meets world. It's like, you might, you gotta go out there into the world. Make it your own. Yes, Disney, we know that. Boy meets world did that. But they never ever mentioned you gotta go out into the world all the freaking time. We got the idea when we first watched the show. Another part of the Disney concept that they have in here is like the setting of the high school because it's basically every other high school junior high school setting that other Disney shows do I don't watch much of it but it pretty much looks like every other Disney high school show because it has like too much of a happy feeling towards it Boy Meets World had a happy feeling toward it but it sort of had like this grungy look to it what with bullies and shit and all the problems that dealt with it at least you know they real lived in a real world. Pun not intended. This one, it looks like they're basically, they go from New York City, and then boom, they're in their school. And everything's magical rainbows and unicorn. But hey, that's just the first episode. What else can you do? Also, the Disney factor to it is this kid Lucas. Whoever plays this kid Lucas. Gee, talent agency, can you not find a more better looking kid than this kid? I just have to say it. All the other kids in the show are like average looking. And then boom, Lucas comes along. It's that Disney factor where you have to get the good looking kid to be in one show. And you know Lucas and Riley are going to wind up together in the end. Whoever did casting has done an excellent job with this girl named Riley, the daughter of Corey Matthews. She's Riley Matthews. She looks like a young feminine version of Co Corey from back in the day. Just look at her facial expression, the eyes, the facial expression. It's almost like a girl version of Corey back in the day. And speaking of Corey, it's awesome to see Corey back on the show but he's more of an adult now. And he's basically this show's version of Mr. Feeney, but a younger version of Mr. Feeney. Basically, he teaches just like Mr. Feeney. And awesome to see Danielle Fisher back again as Topanga. She didn't have many lines in this show, but she's the same Topanga as always. Can't wait to see what else she has to do on the show. The main star of this show that is flat out hilarious is Farkle. This kid is hilarious. From everything he says, is just plain gold. Man, I can't wait for any Farkle scene, because this guy, whoever this kid is, he's just freaking funny. They gave him the best lines, he has the best situations, and the best facial expressions. Oh, and by the way, he's the son of Minkus. For those of you who don't know who Minkus is, shame on you. That's all I'm going to say. Look him up. Farkle is Minkus' son. Farkle Minkus. And I'm not going to give out the ending, but let's just say the last four seconds of the show is just fantastic. It brought a big ass smile to my face and almost made me cry. You know why once you see it. I'm not going to spoil it here. Also, doesn't this scene. You're just like me. Yeah. Would you do this? 
No homework, more freedom. No homework, more freedom. Work, are you with us or not? No homework, more freedom. No homework, more freedom. Remind you of this. First student union. Yeah! Look for the union label. If you are buying a good dress or clothes, remember somewhere our union's going, our wage is going to be the kids. Nostalgia. Anyways, that's it for my review. So far, I give it a decent review. Uh, out of 10, I'll give it like a 7 due to the whole Disney bullshit thing that they're doing here. But I'd like to see more of this. So one last thing to note. Riley Matthews has a best friend called Maya. Maya is basically the female version of Sean Hunter. Basically the same formula. It basically is, but basically a feminine version. That's basically it. Anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Bye!